Ah, stupid thing! Bro, you good? I'm trying to figure out what IDK stands for. You don't know what IDK means? No. And neither does Google. What do you mean Google doesn't know? Look. What? I know! It's like they're hiding it from me. Hey, well, where are you going? I'm, I'm going away. But we need to solve the mystery. Uh, I don't know either. The internet won't tell me. It's stupid. No, you're stupid. Dad, you might want to come in here. This guy just told me to take my shirt off. I told him I'm 11 years old. You're not about to fuck me. I'm getting my dad. He's your doctor, Derek. Okay. Okay, so he just put his hand up my shirt, told me to take a deep breath. I know he's about to fuck me now. Can you come in here and tell him that I'm not down for Derek, this? he's your fucking doctor. Get in there. Okay. <laughs> he just put his hand down my pants. It's a physical. Oh. What the fuck is wrong with you? Hey, okay, so you're right. He is a doctor. Congratulations, sir. You're our hundredth customer. We'd like to offer you a brand new car battery, free of charge. Completely free of charge? Yep. Why the fuck would I want that? John, what the hell does he want? What'd you get for number five? I got 22, but I don't know if it's right. <sighs> Dude, I am not trying to go to Met. Yeah. John left me on delivered. He's late the one who asked me. These motherfuckers, bro. What's up, John? Hey, what's up? You see the test grades came out? Yeah, I saw that. I got an 85. What'd you get? Yo. Hello? I said, would you? No. No! There's no way you do it in person! I am talking to you physically in front of your face! That makes no sense! Alright. Alright, you wanna block me? Block this! A police pulls over a car with two old ladies on a highway. He says, you were going 22 miles per hour on a highway where the speed limit is 75 miles per hour. Do you realize how dangerous that is? The lady in the driver's seat says, No, the speed limit is 22. It says so on that sign. She points to the root sign. The officer says, Oh, you were just confused. You see, 22 is the root number. I'll let you go, but first, I want to know if the lady in the passenger seat is okay. She hasn't moved the whole time since we've been here. The lady says, Oh, she'll be fine soon. See, we just got off route 119. When your foot leaves your blanket while sleeping, Here. What do gay cows eat? What? Hey! What train is the chicken wear? Go on. <laughs> <Re -ba 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 -ba> <laughs> this little old lady goes to the doctor and tells the doctor that she's got this real bad problem with gas. She says, it's not that bad though because they're always silent and they never stink. She tells the doctor, I've farted 20 times since I've been in here and you didn't even know it. The doctor says, well take two of these and come see me in a week. She comes back about a week later and she tells the doctor, I don't know what you gave me, but my farts smell god awful now. And he goes, all right, well, now that your sinuses are cleared up, let's work on your hearing. A woman walks into a rooftop bar and sits next to a guy. What are you drinking? She asks the guy. Magic beer, he says. Oh yeah, what's so magical about it? Then he shows her. He drinks some beer, dives off the roof, flies around the building, and then finally returns to his seat. Oh my god, the woman says. Let me try some of that. She drinks some of the beer, leaps off the roof, and dies. The bartender shakes his head. You know, you're a real jerk when you're drunk, Superman. The human body cannot do these three things. One, you cannot keep your eyes open when you sneeze. And two, you cannot stick out your elbow and touch it to your chin. And three, even though it seems crazy, you cannot stick out your tongue and breathe out your nose at the same time. It's amazing, but true. And hey, put your tongue back in your mouth. You. You just, you look like an idiot doing that. Ready to feel uncomfortable? You're now blinking manually. Imagine taking some nail clippers to your teeth. You just lost the game. Your bones are wet. Now you're breathing manually. Now you're resting your tongue on the roof of your mouth. You're older now than you've ever been. And now you're older. And now you're even older. A man dies and goes to hell. The devil lets him choose his form of punishment. He has to choose out of three doors. Through the first door, there are a ton of people standing on their heads on hard wood. Through the second door, there are a ton of people standing on their heads on spikes. Through the third door, there are a ton of people standing up, waist deep in poop, drinking coffee. He says, I'll choose the third door because I don't want to hurt my head, and I love coffee. He goes in and the devil closes the door. He hears a voice. All right, coffee break over. Get back on your heads. We have your son, and we want $100,000 by tomorrow or he's gonna die. 
Which son? Phil. Hello? Hello? <laughs> I told you it wasn't gonna work. <laughs> Stupid. I'm gonna try your mom. Hello? We have your son. And if we don't get $50,000 by tomorrow, he dies. Which son? Phil. Kill him. What? Kill him. What'd she say? So little Johnny's in class one day and the teacher says, All right, little Johnny, I got a riddle for you. She says, what kind of tree can you fit in your hand? Well, Johnny thinks about it and he says, Pfft. Well, that's easy, teacher. You can fit any tree in your hand as long as it's a little bitty seed. Teacher says, well, actually, little Johnny, it's a palm tree. But you know what? I like the way you're thinking. So little Johnny gets mad and he goes, well, Pfft. you know what, teacher? I got one for you. He says, I'm about six inches long. When you take me out of your mouth, you spit. And I'm a whole lot more fun when I vibrate. What am I, teacher? Teacher thinks about it and goes, oh, oh, Little Johnny, that is disgusting. Go to the principal's office. Little Johnny says, What for, teacher? I'm talking about a toothbrush. But I like the way you're thinking. <laughs> What in the Reese's peanut butter f is going on here? Stop being so fucking nice and show them how crazy you are. Hi, Mommy. Hey, sweetie. Can I talk to your dad? He's not answering his phone. He's busy with his friend Susie. But he doesn't have a friend named Susie. Yes, he does. They're upstairs in the bedroom right now. Okay, honey. I need you to go near the bedroom and shout, Mommy's car just pulled in the driveway and then come back. Okay. I can't believe it. Okay, I did it. What happened? Dad got really scared, started running around, and tripped and hit his head, and now he's not moving. What about Susie? She also got scared, jumped out the window into the swimming pool, but the pool had no water, so she's not moving either. Wait a minute. My house doesn't have a pool. Wait, is this the right number? Oh, great heavens! I saw this kid on the street the other day wearing, like, rags, dirty clothes. I looked at him like, are you an orphan? He goes, yeah, what well, gave me away? Parents? <laughs> and this team is just absolutely atrocious. We will be right back after the break. This is my son, and at just five years old, he was killed in a speeding car accident. Oh, damn. Every year, over 10,000 people are killed from speeding accidents, and we're here to make a change. Go to www.drivingforchange.com today. Hot Wheels new Mega Ultimate Crash Course! Line up your racers and go up to 200 miles per hour in the biggest battle arena of all time! Be the last one standing and absolutely decimate your opponents and send them into the sky! What kind of time is this Honey, look what I got for our son. You got him a phone? Just wait, let me get out my camera. But I got this for our son. I know, I just want to record you giving it to him. I don't think you understand. I got this for our son. A pirate ship was traveling in the sea when they saw an enemy ship. The captain says, men, bring me my red shirt. They fought the enemy ship and won. The next day, they came across three enemy ships. The captain yells to the crew, men, bring me my red shirt. Then they somehow won that battle as well. The next day, a crew member asked the captain, why do you always wear your red shirt in battle? Well, the captain responded, there's a good chance I might get hurt in battle. So if my blood blends in with my shirt, you guys won't be as scared. Then they see about a hundred enemy ships coming towards them. The captain yells, men, bring me my brown pants. So what's the situation? Uh, we got a woman in there holding a knife. She just killed her husband. Well, do we know why she killed her husband? Yeah, she told him not to step on the floor after she mopped it. and He stepped on it anyway. Okay, so why don't we have her in custody? The floor's still wet. Oh, yeah. No, hold. A guy asks a girl to a dance. She agrees, and he decides to rent a suit. The rental has a long line, so he waits and waits, and he finally he gets a suit. He decides to buy flowers, so he goes to the flower shop. The flower shop has a long line, so he waits and waits until he finally buys flowers. He picks up the girl and they go to the dance. There's a long line into the dance, so they wait, and they wait. Finally, they get into the dance, and the guy offers to get a girl a drink. She asks for punch, so he goes to the drink table, and thank God, there is no punch line. A man is watching TV when he hears a knock on his door. He opens it, and it's a salesman. The salesman says, uh, Can I interest you in a toothbrush? Only $10. The man says, $10 for a toothbrush? That's insane. Absolutely not. The salesman then says, Well then, uh, could I interest you in a brownie? Only $1. The man says, Alright, why not? So he takes a bite from the brownie and immediately spits it out. He says, This tastes like crap. 
The salesman replies, it is. So can I interest you in a toothbrush? Bro, if a fly loses its wings, is it now called a walk? Doc, you gotta help me. He's got my entire family going crazy. Would Lightning McQueen get car insurance or life insurance? Yeah, I'd like to book my brother in for a mental rehab. Dude, if you sweat in a sweater, does that make you the sweater? Oh, how long? What do the bylaws say? Do you have to give them back? What if every country has ninjas, but we only know about Japan's ninjas because they're so bad at being ninjas? Yeah, yeah, he's calling himself woke. Pretty sure you guys have a room for people like that, right? How come your lips don't touch when you say touch, but they do when you say separate? All right, Doc. See you soon. <sighs> Pickle B! Trick or treat, he's got a speech impediment. Oh, and what have you come as? I'm a pirate. Pirate. Oh, and where are your buccaneers? My buccaneers are right here. Why don't you use your bucking eyes? Oh! And just ever since I lost my eyesight after the crash and not being able to see anything, it's just been, it's been awful. Yeah, I, I, I see. Yeah, yeah, I know you can fucking see, but I can't. No, no, We're talking okay, about I'm me sorry, here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look. Look where I don't have any eyes. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'll stop talking. I'll stop talking. <laughs> And you know, not not only my eyes, I lost both of my legs, and, and not being able to walk anywhere without assistance has just been it's just been horrible. And yeah, I guess I, it's a pretty pretty dark time in your life. <laughs> get it? Cause I, I'm sorry, I'm I'm just pulling your leg. And get the fuck out! Get the uh, fuck okay, out of here! Mean, get no way! You got me a VR headset. Well, don't just sit there. Put it on. Okay, okay. What are you doing, sweetie? I'm about to fly a helicopter. Oh, that's nice. All right, what's your first wish? I wish I was rich. Okay, what's your second wish? I wish I had a billion dollars. Hello? Hey, Stan, listen, I'm going on vacation tomorrow. You think you could watch my mom and my cat while I'm gone? Yeah, no problem. All right, thanks, buddy. Hello? Hey, Stan, just checking in. How is everything? Oh, yeah, your cat died. Jesus, Stan, I had that cat for six years. Do you really have to just spring it on me like that? I mean, the least you could have done is ease me into it. You know, you know. first the cat crawled up to the roof and then it got closer to the edge and then a gust of wind. God, how's my mom? Uh, well, first she crawled up to the roof and, uh... Let's do a knock-knock joke. Okay. Knock-knock. Who's there? Mom Fox. Mom Fox who? Everybody. <laughs> this lady's cheating on her husband. As they're going at it, they hear her husband's car pull up in the driveway. The guy says, oh my God, what are we going to do? The lady says, go in the living room. They get in the living room. She puts him in the corner, starts pouring baby powder all over him. He says, what the hell are you doing? She says, I'm going to make you look like a statue. Stand there in a pose. My husband will never figure it out because he ain't too bright. Husband walks in the door, looks, he says, what's that? She says, well, uh, me and Miss Johnson next door, we went shopping. See, she has one of these in her house. I liked it so much, she took me to get one. Husband says, all right. Later that night, the guy is still in a pose. He don't want to try to leave because he's afraid he's going to get caught. All of a sudden, the husband comes down the stairs, walks past the guy, goes into the kitchen, opens a beer, make a sandwich. He comes back out of the kitchen, walks up to the statue, hands him the beer and the sandwich. He says, look, I was stuck in that position for two days at Miss Johnson's house and nobody gave me any food. Lady's sitting at home when a phone rings. She looks down, it's her husband. She picks it up. Hello? Husband on the other line. Honey, I don't want to alarm you, but I got hit by a car when I was leaving work. Paula took me to the hospital. They checked me over, they did some x-rays. The blow to my head was pretty severe, but it didn't show any internal injury. Bad news is, I got three broken ribs, a compound fracture in my left leg, and they might have to amputate my right leg. The wife says, Who the fuck is Paula? Einstein is driving to a conference. He tells the driver, I hate these conferences. I always say the same thing at every one. The driver says, yeah, I've been to all of them and I practically memorized everything you say. Einstein says, I, I have an idea. Why don't you take my place? So they switch clothings and the driver gets onto the stage and starts giving the normal speech. But in the crowd, there's this one scientist who wants to impress everyone. So he asks a very hard science question. The driver responds, I, a question is so easy, I'm going to have my driver answer it for me. Put your money in the bag! Put it in! Yo, look at this one over here. No, nah, I wouldn't mess with him, man. For what? 
Look, man, look at what we doing, okay? We is robbing the place, okay? This dude right here, he's just standing there like nothing's going on, okay? He's chilling, all right? That's a whole anime protagonist. I wouldn't mess with him. No, no, I'm, t I'm telling you. Look at look at the way he's sitting right now. He's going to end up killing you, and then I'm going to have to run. I'm not going to be able to get away. He's going to catch me because they're overpowered, and then I'm going to get killed. This looked like the pilot episode to his anime. I'm telling you, we should not be doing this. Man, you watch too many of them Japanese cartoons. I'm gonna I'm go beat them up. What? No, why would you put the money in the bar? Kimiwa, Kokoni Kirubakata Wanakata. He did. Hey, what's this guy talking about? Is it oh, oh, he's a man. He's a man. Okay, Jimmy, so we're gonna take a quick look at your vision. Okay. Okay, look right here and tell me what you see. I see a virgin in his floor. Get the fuck out. The doc, I'm literally blind. Shut the fuck up. Get out. I said get the fuck out. Let's list off some reasons as to why you feel this way. Um, you know, the divorce was horrible. That was tough to get through. Our, our cat Molly just died. Uh, the hit and run with that family was horrible. I didn't eat breakfast this morning. What, what was that? Yeah, when I don't eat, I get in these mood swings. No, the, the, the um, hit and run, was that it? Yeah, family of four, not one of my best days. But yeah, I've learned to drink coffee in the no, let's morning. let the hit and run thing for a second. I think there was something there. But then when I saw that the mother was still alive, it made it so much more painful on my part. Okay, so that, what, what are you insinuating there? And after a neighbor heard the commotion and the police arrived, I had no other choice. Do you want coffee? I and have... Once I was done with the police. I think I have tea as well. I then hunted down the neighbor who alerted the law. Is it hot in here? I feel hot. I feel warm. I went house to house. Oops, there's sweat dripping onto my paper. I took so many houses. I think we should stop for today. It's fair to say that anyone who's ever found out about the incident didn't stick around for too much longer. Yo, son, you should study more. But why? So you can get good grades. Then what? You'll get a good paying job. Then? You'll get a big house, a nice car, and have a better life. Okay, then? And then you'll be able to relax. What do you think I'm doing right now? Oh, great heavens! This guy comes home from a long business trip, and he sees his son riding a brand new bicycle. And he looks at him, and he goes, where'd you get that bicycle? It must have cost $300. And the kid says, well, dad, I earned it hiking. And he goes, don't you lie to me. You tell me the truth. And he goes, Dad, I am telling you the truth. Every night you were gone, Mr. Reynolds would come over and see Mom. And he would always give me $20 and tell me to go take a hike.